What's up agents and welcome back to another division video. We've got our diamond back out. If you've not got one of these, you can pick them up at Kenley College or in Dustin Rifle Targeted Loot. To secure the memorial and remove the true sun's forces. Um, we're going to have a, a bit of fun with it with a build I've not used for a super, super long time. But as you can see, it absolutely ooh, slaps. Now, the one thing I don't like about it, and I'll be, I'll be honest, right up front, is the reload. The reload kind of sucks. But we hit really, really hard. And what's better is when we're in a group scenario and we get some more enemies, we're actually even stronger as well. Where's that guy hiding? There we go. We're going to actually give us a bit of a, a mini pulse to kind of shows where the enemies are so we'll do the next section as well as a few more enemies but you can see the kind of numbers you're hitting for 4.8 mil 3.5 mil 4.5 mil this one's always guaranteed a crit as well you know and doing things like that absolutely crazy good The tag. Where's that man with the dot? Oh, there he is over there. We need him. New man with the dot. Great spot for a turret. No turrets, please. It's insane that it crits every time. I mean, it just guarantees huge, huge numbers. And it's just a lot of fun. So let's get back to the base of operations and go over this build. Just before we get started, though, let's run the intro. With the intro done, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more Division videos. Even better, come over to Twitch and hit follow because I could be streaming live right now. And if you need a community Discord, there's never been a better time to join. You'll find the link down below in the description. And with all that said, let's get started. So there's a couple of ways you can run this. I went full damage because I was doing a demo at the beginning of the video. Because with Sharpshooter, you get 15% increased headshot damage with rifles. Uh, and obviously, you can spec into rifle damage as well. But with this, really, you're going to be guaranteed them big crits. And although it's really nice to hit the head, you've only got five shots. So actually, sometimes you might favor just taking a body shot, knowing you're going to crit for a big number anyway. And with that in mind, it might be worth actually just taking Gunner. Gunner comes with a lot of really, really nice things. Obviously, you're going to want to take the rifle damage, but what I'm really talking about is every third reload is 50% faster, and this gun has a slow reload, which is really, really nice. Also, 10% armor on kill, which is great. And you get a, a rate of fire increase. Not that this gun really, really needs it because of how hard it slaps, but gun might be a good option for this if you're willing to drop out on the actual bigger damage from sharpshooter. And to be honest, it's something I think I will be doing. So let's take a look at the gun itself. So here is the gun itself. It only has five in the mag, but as you can see with this build is at 789k damage. I've got no expertise on this build, but we've got rifle damage, crit hit damage and headshot damage. But what makes this really, really special is the talent. The Diamondback randomly marks an enemy, which is that kind of pulse effect that you get. So if they're hiding in cover, you get like a mini pulse to find out where they are as well. Hitting that enemy consumes the mark, guaranteeing a critical hit with 
damage amplified by 20%, which is why we're getting huge, huge numbers. After hitting a mark, all shots fired are guaranteed critical hits for five seconds, which makes this great in a team play scenario. So if you're in a group of four, you're doing a lot of damage because there's a lot of enemies and it's really, really easy for you to keep this going. Thank you, NPC, for that. So, and then after that, a new random enemy is marked afterwards whenever you reload. And also, if you kill the enemy as well, you'll notice that it will remark the enemy. Now, it comes with accuracy, reload speed, stability, and crit hit damage. As mods, you can't change these. Uh, and it's just really, really nice. Now, this build, you can run uh, with other guns as well. It's definitely specced out to be a diamond bat build, but if you wanted to run a classic M1A, you, you perfectly could. And kind of adjust the mods around a little bit to get to 60% crit chance. And this build would work really well for that as well. So we're going back to an old it, but a good it. We're going to use the sacrifice. As you saw, I was using the shield. So we're not too bothered about incoming damage. And we slap everything really, really fast. Gives us 15% headshot damage, weapon damage, crit hit damage. And I've got a weapon handling on here to help with that reload and just to keep the thing even more stable. Critical hit damage in the mod slot with perfect glass cannon, which gives us all damage amplified by 30%, but all damage I take is amplified by 60, but hopefully that is going to be my shield. So in combination with the gun, that's 50% amplified damage on them shots, which is why you're seeing such huge numbers on a rifle. Next up, we're going to double down on the amplified damage and we're going to go with the Fox's Pros. This gives us 10% rifle damage. Weapon damage, 8% damage to target out of cover, which is the amplified damage that we were talking about, and critical hit damage again. What you're going to notice here, and the play with this, is we just spec into critical hit damage absolutely everywhere, because the gun talent guarantees us the critical hits. We don't actually need any crit chance whatsoever. We just want to double down into as much critical hit damage as we possibly can. Now, we're going to add to that even more with another game mechanic that we can do. And we're going to use the Negotiator's Dilemma. Now, with the Negotiator's Dilemma, when you hit a crit, you can transfer damage between all the enemies. You can hit the one that's marked by the Diamondback and then hit other enemies and transfer that damage across them all. You saw when I went into the second area, the guy on the truck and the other two guys in front, they all just died off one shot because I tagged them all up. Now you hit really hard and in solo play this build probably doesn't shine as much as what it does in group play because in group play more enemies and they have more tankier health so just think about that when you're putting this together so the negotiator's dilemma comes with 15 percent crit chance which we're not bothered about but it also comes with 20 percent critical hit damage the four piece bonus the critical hit marks the enemies up to 20 seconds up to three in total and when you critically hit a marked enemy, all other marked enemies take 60% of that damage dealt. Now, don't worry about that. We're actually going to increase that to 100 by running the backpack, but we'll come to that in just a moment. Whenever a marked enemy dies, gain 2% critical hit damage, stacking up to 20 times or until combat ends, giving you another potential for another 40% critical hit damage. Weapon damage, crit damage, crit damage, there's no surprise here. Talking about that backpack... You can see here, weapon damage, crit damage, crit damage, and with the talent critical measures. It increases the hostile negotiations damage to an additional uh, to additional marked enemies from 60 to 100%. Meaning, during that five seconds of total guaranteed crit damage from the Diamondback, you're going to transfer 100%. That was like nearly 5 million a shot to every enemy you have marked, which is no slouch. So then going to the gloves, you can see here, weapon damage, crit damage. And then with the holster, weapon damage, crit damage. If we were to take a look at the stat page, you can see we're at a whopping 205% critical hit damage with a potential for an extra 40% from the negotiator's dilemma set. Headshot damage is at 120% as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. We love it. And the damage to target a cover, which doesn't show. Obviously, this is a very red glass cannon type of build, and it's only going to suit certain people. But just sit behind the shield like I do, and you'll have no problem whatsoever. We've just hit reset, and so it's come away and spoiled the video a little bit. 
Come on. We know Tidal Basin is invaded. District Union this week. Again, an update video as well as a build video for the week. But here is the build all together. I'm going to be using the shield and the revive hive. And I know I've had a bit of jip for using these all the time. But it's definitely needed for this build because we're using glass cannon. But yeah, that's everything for this build. I hope you enjoy it. Get out your diamond back. It's still a lot of fun and I've missed using it. Thank you for watching, agents. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Maybe check me out on Twitch and Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching, agents. Goodbye.